Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to weld, attach, and slice in Design Space. First, you're going to click on the text box and I'm just going to use the word happy birthday. Um, the font is Candle Mustard. You can get that from thefont.com. If you notice, there's a lot of spacing between the letters. So what you'll do is go up here to the top to the letter space, click the down button, move the letters closer together. is about right. So what will happen now is you're going to ungroup the letters. Once you ungroup it, on the side in your layers panel, you'll see that each letter is individually separated. What I'm going to do is now move each letter closer together so that it gives you that cursive feel um, and so that you can see it as one word um, with the exception of the space. So you'll move it over until it overlaps. We're going to be welding this so that it's one piece and it's just one cut. Now that this is moved over, you see right here, if you zoom in, You can see right there where the H isn't completely overlapping the D. So I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Um, and then what I'm going to do is select this spot and move it over all together as one. And once that's been done, I'm then going to move this part over I'm going to select everything uh, up into the R and I want a little space between the B and the rest of birthday and so I slid it over a little bit you're going to select this all together. Then you're going to come down at the bottom of the panel, you see down here, and you're going to hit the weld button. It's going to weld it all together. For the word happy, we're going to move the letters closer together. They don't have the endings where they can be connected. So the R wasn't moved all the way up where I wanted it to be. So I clicked undo until I got back to where I was. And now you can see that the R is in a smooth, uh, one fluid motion. So then I'll go back and weld it again. So there it is. Now I'm going to move the Y over closer. I'm going to select the whole thing. Sometimes I don't notice that it's not overlapping properly until it's been welded. So some got to bear with me sometimes. And so here is happy birthday. Um, it's been welded. And if you click make it, it will sorted on the mat um, and the best way to make it take up as less, spot, less space as possible um, but I want it to be one fluid cut so that I just have to press it 
um, as is once it's cut. So I'm going to hit cancel here. I'm going to go back to the canvas. I'm going to select happy and birthday. And then I'm going to attach it. Um, so think of attach like something being held together with a paper clip. It's going to keep it in place. So when you go to make it this time, you see how it is all together one piece in the way it's on the canvas. So that is how you weld and attach. Next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to slice. Um, you're going to come over here to shapes. I'm going to use a heart for this. Um, happy birthday is pretty big. So I'm going to make the heart bigger than happy birthday so that it fits. And then you're going to come up here to arrange and you're going to move the heart backwards so the happy birthday is in front of it. Like that. And if you notice here, the A is off of the heart so I'm going to slide it down some and I'm actually going to make the heart a little bit bigger so that it fits right in the center. In order to be able to, sl to slice you have to select both layers that you are trying to um, slice so first layer will be happy birthday and the second will be heart so in order to select them both you're going to drag across and so then both layers are then highlighted. If I move, they all move together. And what I'm going to do select them both. Messed up somewhere. Hold on one second. So, birthday is behind and I think that you're only allowed to have two layers. Click slice and birthday sliced. Move that out of the way, and then I'm going to do happy. But what I'm going to do is move it forward so that I can see where it is slicing. And then it was able to slice it. So I don't need these. It's just what was sliced out of the heart. And you could just click the X to remove them. And then here is the happy birthday. And if you click make it, oh, 
messed up. I meant to turn off happy birthday so you don't have to. If you click the eye here, you can turn it off. And there. So then all you have is the heart with the happy birthday already sliced. And there it is. Um, also, um, happy birthday has been sliced through the heart already, so there's a void. In order to fill the void, you will click contour, and then you could fill it all back in. And so then we start, we, we end up with a heart field that we started with. We change the font. And again, changing the letter spacing. And we're going to group it. Say I was going to print this, um, I would place the word here, and then in order to make sure that it prints correctly, it's time that you would use flatten, and you notice that it changed from a cut to a print, so that it all prints together. And so when I went to make it, the mat changed because this is now a printing cut and so it has the registration mark around it. And then it will print as one image. Okay, that's all I have time for today. Thank you all and I plan to catch you all next time.